Hello, welcome back. In our last video, we had seen how we install remote control server and we started the remote control server and right now, remote control server is listening on port number 4444. This shows you that the remote control server is waiting for request from the client. In this video, we are going to build the client. This client can be written in multiple languages, but in this course, we are going to focus on Java programming language. To write a client, we need a Java platform, and that is, to to write a Java program, you can write on the command, you can write on the Notepad. Also, you can you can use an IDE to write your Java program. In this course, we are going to use the popular Eclipse IDE to work. So let me first start and install Eclipse IDE. So go to the eclipse.org/downloads, and you will see multiple things. So install Eclipse Classic, okay, or you can install Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. So we should be fine if we install Eclipse Classic 4.2.1. All right. So I have already downloaded that, and this is where I, st I stored. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to right click and then extract all. Okay. So now I have completed the Eclipse uh, extraction, and if I go to Eclipse Run the Eclipse executable and you should see the Eclipse IDE and it will ask you about some workspace so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to give C colon and then I do say and this is your Eclipse to IDE and what you can do you can promptly close this thing so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to file new do a Java project and let's say my Java project name is test Okay, and the so next finish. So this is the project, and this is the source, and this project is located on your your C colon Selenium demo test. All right, and then what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a new Java class. Let's say that class name is Hello. Okay, so this is your hello dot Java. Just to make sure that if things are working fine or not, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just write a simple method here. Say public static void main Alright, so it looks like compilation done and then just want to run this thing just to ensure that if my ID is installed properly and things are just working as expected it looks like I'm getting hello world so everything is okay so what we, what we're going to do here is that we want to write that client like instead of driving to this IDE we want to write equivalent Java program for whatever you are seeing here so essentially this Eclipse whatever the client program you are going to write that client program is going to give commands to the remote control server which is right now listening and then that remote control server is going to launch this browser and then run this command one after another that is our goal okay to do that what we have IDE has a very nice tool called export test case as if you go to export test case as you have different combinations we'll explain you what these things are so do not worry what you just do you just do java j unit 4 remote control and i'm going to store that thing in my selenium demo folder and let's say that file name is flight search all right so let's save it so this is a flight search dot java that we exported edit with notepad so this is the equivalent java program for whatever commands that you are seeing in ide either you run this thing using ide or you run using this java program the effect is same okay so let's copy this thing and then let's put this thing in our class what are you going to do the moment you put you can see a lot of errors you know wherever you're seeing this red cross those are essentially errors so let's try to 
solve the first thing that you notice that the class name here is flight search and this is coming because the in the IDE the script name was flight search however our our Java class file name is hello.java so as you know this is a very fundamental thing in Java that if the file name is hello.java then the class name should be also start with hello so that's the first thing that we fix if you click on this red cross so it looks like compiler is not able to understand from where should it find this class these class are available in the jar file called selenium server standalone 2.25.0 you go to test project and go to the property here in the external library we have to add the external jar file we have to add two jar file one jar file for the selenium standalone and another jar file for the j unit to get the j unit jar file go to junit.org go to download j unit and then download the latest person so in the eclipse project i need to go to the build java build path then i have to add external jar file i have to add two external jar file one is j unit 4.7 and the second one is selenium server standalone 2.25.jar so after i add those things in the build path so it looks like this you know the compiler is now able to find the classes so we are able to import those things still we are seeing these errors and if you see these errors one of these things again selenium cannot be resolved so what happens is that this hello this class supposed to be extended from another class and that class is Selenium's test case whenever you are going to export from IDE IDE will not add these things that you have to add yourself so once you add these things then all those errors are gone so instead of any red uh, you know red cross you are seeing something warning warnings are fine don't worry Finally, I still have one more red cross and that is the package name. Remember, whenever we created this project, we have not given any package structure. However, whenever you are exporting from IDE, this is comes by default. Either you create the package like this or you just delete this thing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this thing. So now, looks like everything is all ready. Let's save this thing. So now this hello.java is ready to run. In the next video, we are going to do a code walkthrough and then we are going to run this program.